You might decide that you want to add a differential pair while in the PCB instead of as a directive in the schematic. All the tools needed to do this are located in the PCB panel. Select the differential pair editor from the drop down list at the top of the panel. To specify a single differential pair, click the Add button and enter the required data in the differential pair window that appears. Specify positive and negative nets and the pair name. After clicking OK, a new differential pair will be created. Note that it will be immediately included in the differential pair class, which was previously specified in the list of available classes. This pair is now available for placement. To create differential pairs from existing nets, select the Create from Nets function. In the command window, specify net suffixes, as well as the prefix for the name of the differential pair. Do not forget to specify a target class for the differential pair. To narrow down the search for suitable nets, select the net class if available. Below, you will see a complete list of nets that match the conditions of the filter. Nets that have a common name and the specified suffixes will be affected by the tool. The differential pair prefix will become its name. Use the checkboxes in the Create column to specify which pairs you want to generate and click the Execute button. Newly created differential pairs will be displayed in the corresponding window of the panel. Differential pairs can be created in this way in the PCB, but not in the schematic. The next time project synchronization occurs, these differential pairs will be removed from the PCB file. In order to prevent this from happening, you should set the Remove Differential Pair parameter to Ignore Differences in your project settings on the ECO Generation tab under the Modifications associated with Net section. You can now see that no differential pairs were removed. Regardless of whether you define the differential pairs in the schematic document or directly in the PCB editor document, you can use all available tools to place them as well as edit them. So now we know how to create differential pairs in the PCB. Thanks for watching.